As anime fans, we have a thirst, a parched, greedy desperation for one thing, that most elusive of mirages we all stumble towards, original anime. A massive chunk of most people's favorite anime are often original ones for how relatively infrequent such anime are compared to those adapted from some kind of source material. And beyond inherent issues of adaptations, like the difficulty of getting a story that was designed to work well in its original medium to translate effectively to a new one, these original anime are also often home to some of the most out there, interesting ideas and approaches we'll get to see. In particular, original anime tend to be the hosts of many of anime's most interesting creators, those whose artistic ambitions lead them to go through the arduous journey of attempting to get original anime made, and whose artistic talents allow them to achieve that feat. Last season's big original series, Recreators, was co-written by the author of Black Lagoon and director A. Aoki, who has risen to prominence through projects like Fate Zero and Alt Noah Zero. Last year's big original was probably Kabaneri of the Iron Fortress, which was helmed by Death Note, High School of the Dead, Attack on Titan director Tetsuro Araki, and the writer famous for creating Code Geass, infamous for helping to write Guilty Crown, Ichido Okochi. The people that can often get overlooked in all this are those working behind the scenes to enable these series, the producers pitching them to studios, trying to secure funding, and doing all the other work involved in getting such projects off the ground. You may recognize illustrator Yoshitoshi Abe, the man who has been a part of a number of anime's most interesting titles. He did the designs for Serial Experiments Lane and Technolize, and was the original creator of Nia Under 7 and Haibane Renmei. If you saw Digi's recent video, you'll be familiar with Chiaki Konaka, who wrote those former two. However, you might be less familiar with the producer of all four of these series, Yasuyuki Ueda. Beyond just getting these anime produced, an impressive feat in its own right considering how out there they are, Ueda also encouraged Abe to further develop the short doujin that Nia Under 7 and Hibernate Renmei were originally, and helped him to do so. Producers can serve as integral go-betweens for the artistic and business sides of the industry, people with the passion to want to try to allow for the creation of interesting anime, and the know-how to get that accomplished. Let me bring my boy Ichiro Okochi back up into the booth here to join me once again now. He's got a new original anime airing this season, Princess Principal, and because it's a rather interesting subject, we're going to take a look at who exactly has enabled this project and what's so exciting about that. Because I'm a goddamn nerd, I of course clicked on the director and the writer and the intern that accidentally stole someone's pudding from the company fridge when checking Princess Principal out, and chief among this sea of information in terms of interest for me was the studio behind the series, 3 Hertz. Oh, they also did flip flappers, pedantic romantic exclaimed, pleasantly surprised. Wait! How did they also do flip flappers? They then shouted in a state of bewildered shock. After that series had flip-flopped with just 883 Blu-ray sales, the fact that they were able to come right back with another original project is extremely impressive considering how risky these undertakings are considered to be. And then I looked at what else they'd done. One manga adaptation co-produced with another studio, and yet another original project. The studio's first production, no less. I wanted to know where this studio had come from, and why it seemed so driven to put out ambitious original projects. That history lesson revolves around one key individual, Yuichiro Matsuka, an ex-production IG producer who worked on Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. In 2008, he joined up with Masaki Tachibana, who had done some episode direction on standalone complex, and ex-studio Bones producer Muneki Ogasawara to form Kinema Citrus. Interestingly enough, their first project back in 2009 was also an original series, Tokyo Magnitude 8.0, which they co-produced with Studio Bones. Yuichiro Matsuka must not have been content with how things went from there, though, because he left Kinema Citrus in 2013 to form yet another studio, the one that started this expedition, Studio 3 Hertz. He would end up taking a lot of the studio's talent with him. One of his fellow co-founders, Masaki Tachibana, had directed a bunch of Kinema Citrus anime, but after Barakamon over there in 2014, they've been without his services in that position, and instead here he is at 3 Hertz directing Princess Principal. In the ensuing years, Kinema Citrus has been wallowing in a bit of mediocrity, slowly building itself back up as its lone remaining founder, Muneki Ogasawara, draws upon his collection of industry contacts. So now they're once again producing great-looking series, primarily this season's Made in Abyss. As exciting as Kinema Citrus's return to glory is, though, let's examine the company Matsuka was willing to leave that studio in order to create. 
Director of Flip Floppers, Kiyotaka Oshiyama, said in an interview that the idea behind 3 Hertz as a company is we want to make original works. And with that statement, their production history makes total sense. The reason that 3 Hertz carries on striving to put out original works from interesting creators is because this is their guiding objective, the reason for that studio's existence. Their first production, Soda no Method, was written by Naoki Hisaya, the main writer for the key visual novel canon, and a scattering of other interesting creators were brought in. Matsuka had been telling Oshiyama he wanted to work with him since back at Kinema Citrus, and while his chance to direct was yet to come, he did provide some key animation. Ryoma Ebata, a man that Sakuga Blog referred to as arguably part of a class of genius animators, storyboarded and animated the ED. Akira Hamaguchi, an animator whose work I highlighted way back in my video Animation is Story, showed up here, and would show up again to do some work on Flip Flappers. I give all these names as a demonstration of the talent Matsuka was able to get in contact with and bring together, even with this being his new studio's first production, because it's an impressive feat. He even got Ko Yoshinari, older brother of Little Witch Academia creator Yo Yoshinari, in there. Ko has the role of monster designer for Made in Abyss, and is employing his incredibly distinctive style of animation for the scenes of them he's animating himself to convey the alien nature of the creatures of the Abyss. And I'm making this aside because possibly my favorite piece of animation ever was the one Ko did for Soda no Method. This isn't some parlor trick, this isn't CG, this is 100% genuine hand-drawn 2D animation, and the amount of smooth fluidity Ko can make images that are these detailed move with is is astounding. I can't promise I won't gush about him again, but it was great to finally get my chance to do so briefly here. Unfortunately, all this talent was for naught, however, and just like Flip Flappers would years later, this original 3 Hertz project did not do too well, selling 1,738 copies of its first Blu-ray volume upon release, and then only 999 copies of volume 2. You can almost see the struggle play itself out. It took over a year for 3 Hertz to be able to produce its next anime, just adaptation work this time, and that had to be co-produced with Studio Orange. They're a studio that's pretty interesting in their own right, with a strong drive to raise the bar for CG mecha anime that Canapa Effect in particular has done some coverage of. Dimension W was still able to showcase flashes of that talent 3 Hertz has connections to, and with this work to help get things resettled, Flip Flappers was able to start airing five months later. It should be noted that Princess Principal is apparently not quite a Studio 3 Hertz original anime. Sakuga Blog filled me in on the fact that it, and also the studio's first anime, Soda no Method, were original concepts developed by a production committee and then handed off to 3 Hertz to produce. Which makes sense. Soda no Method was their first series, so they didn't have the ability to go out there and just make their own thing, and on the heels of Flip Flappers' poor sales, 3 Hertz probably isn't currently in a position to do that either. As with Dimension W, this series is yet another co-production, though one where 3 Hertz does seem to be handling the bulk of the work. Nonetheless, it's encouraging to see a studio so committed to producing original anime, through whatever means it manages to be able to do so. Studio 3 Hertz is a healthy reminder that in spite of how cynical the anime industry often seems to be, it is filled with passionate people devoted to creativity, and to enabling others to express their own creativity. I don't know what the studio's fate will eventually be, my fingers are definitely crossed for Princess Principal's success, and I'm happy to say it's a series that would deserve it, but just knowing that organizations and people with those goals exist and are continuing to fight is a good enough reason to take some small amount of pride in this medium, and be hopeful for its future. If you'd like to take some small amount of pride in this channel and ensuring its future, you can head on over to my Patreon and consider lending it some support. A big thank you to Carkeys, Skylar Morrow, Nareto64, Magic Dragon, Mackenzie Knowles, Keiko Cat, Christian Emery, Presto Puma, Laffer Style, Omifomi, Garbage Burner, Ducky, Marcus Gand, Sam Lossaraptor, Tyler aka Giggs, Shoko Asahara, Lord Liquid Bacon II, Izumi69, Kieran Rice, Valkion, Tincho37, Taktoa, Cherry Boy Writer, Mathwiz97, Joji Matthews, Culver James Kamai, Shofty, Zados Tenjin, Saikur, Zeria, Macaulay Wentz, Sakamoto Mio, Darian De Sotel, Joachim Alfelt, Capsize, and all my other patrons for doing so already.